Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1AAuto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the intermediate steering shaft on this 2003 Chevy Monte Carlo. And it's the same part and similar process on these Monte Carlos from 2000 to 2005. And the items you'll need for this is a new intermediate steering shaft from 1AAuto.com, an 11mm socket and ratchet, large wrench, preferably between 21 and 28mm, flat blade screwdriver, pliers, and a flashlight. Start off by turning your wheel to a 90 degree angle. And then your steering shaft is located right down here and you want to just lift up on this boot and remove the 11 millimeter bolt right in here but before we do this take a pair of pliers and just push the teeth together on this hose clamp and move it out of the way so you don't scrape up your arm while you're working and remove this harness for the same reason. So I've got a little millimeter socket with a long and a short extension. i put that down in, reach down through here, and grab hold of the boot, pull it up, while I try and get that socket on the bolt. Now push in these tabs on this panel and pull it down. And then you want to just remove this 11 millimeter bolt that's right here. Okay, so I'm going to take and try and get a, the um, screwdriver right in, in under there between and just twist and pry the shaft up. Okay, so I was able to get the screwdriver in there and pry it and it came up some, so I'm going to use a big wrench and put that again between the shaft, around the shaft, and just use this to pry. Okay, when you disconnect that shaft underneath the engine compartment, your wheel is going to naturally want to fall this way because it's heavier underneath. And that's on this Monte Carlo, so just take that into account. Um, you want to remember when you put it back together to have it in that position. Now use a wrench to pry the steering shaft free. And just pull the steering shaft up and out. On the bottom is the old steering shaft, above it is the new one from 1A Auto. You can see they're identical and they'll fit exactly the same. Make sure you loosen this Allen screw here so it will telescope. And then feed the smaller end in. shaft through make sure it's the hole for the bolt is pointing up not the threaded end but the unthreaded end okay and just work it onto the shaft of the rack it should go on there fairly easily okay. 
throw it down on and I'm just going to put the bolt in and just get a few threads going just to make sure everything's together. Okay, so the bolt's in. Threads are started. Grab the shaft. I can move it up and down a little bit, which is fine, but the bolt's holding it in place. All right, now down here, we have to push the rubber boot back up above. Grab onto the steering shaft and pull it. Get it started onto the wheel shaft, and then I gotta turn the wheel 90 degrees to the right. So it's where it was before. Move it around a little bit. And the shaft's on. Okay. And then just put the bolt in from the side. And once you get the bolt in and started, then you want to tighten it up to 35 foot-pounds. Feed this panel back up into place. Just push it back up. And then same thing underneath. Um, use your extensions, 11 millimeter socket ratchet, uh, and then use a torque wrench and again tighten this bolt to 35 foot-pounds. Push the boot back down into place. Reconnect this harness. And you're all set. We hope this video helps you out. Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.